All right, so perfect squares are numbers you can square root and get a nice number. You can actually square root anything, but what I mean is you can square root it and get a nice whole number. It won't be a messy decimal. The decimal. <laughs> That's funny. So numbers that you can actually square root. Now, when we go to fill this out, yeah, it's gonna just be counting the numbers in order, but I want you to pay attention to the numbers underneath the square roots. And I believe that you know some of these, all right? And I do like to talk about this one because people forget about one all the time. The square root of one is one. I don't have zero on here because it's not really useful to us, but the square root of zero is zero, just for your information, right? Square root of four is two. Two times two is four. Square root of nine is three, square root of 16 is four, and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna read these to you because it's just counting, but you do need to know these numbers, okay? At least up through 100, like at least up through 10 squared. And I am about ready to write them on the board. So I'm just gonna say this on the recording. If you're watching it, you won't be able to see that because it's on the board in the classroom, but I'm gonna write these first 10 perfect squares on the board so that we have them there and we can see them. Okay. So I just wrote out the first 10 of them, okay? So you can see them there. Thank you for head nodding. I appreciate that. That means you're listening to me. So the way that you simplify these is you're going to draw two little houses, two little square roots. And please listen to me. What you need to do is come up with two numbers, and let me finish talking, that multiply together to equal 12, but one of them has to come from that list that I just put on the board. The other one won't, but one of them has to come from that list. So you have to pick a number from that list that you could multiply by something else that would equal 12. Go ahead. Perfect. Four times three is 12. Are we good so far? Do you see how four is on this list? Yeah. Okay, this is going great. Just keep this up. Now, the whole point of choosing a number off that list is you can actually square root it. So look at your paper. What is your square root of four? Is No, the square root of four <laughs> is two. So this one works, and I always cross off the one that works. You'll see why when we get to the more difficult problems. So you get two square root of three, and that's your answer. Go ahead. Now, one, I wrote it up there, but you're never going to use one because that doesn't help you at all. You always want the biggest one possible. So if there's two of them that work, you want the biggest one possible. Let's try it again. Draw two little houses. You want two numbers that multiply together to equal 24, but one of them has to come from that list that I wrote on the board. And here, I'll erase one because we're never going to use it. Does anyone think they know it? What number from that list could you multiply by something to get 24? Four, good. Four times what gives you 24? Six. Good, perfect. You guys have number sense, fantastic. Now the whole point of choosing a number off that list is that it's going to work. So I'm gonna cross that off. What is the square root of four? Two. two, so you get two square root of six. The point is we're making the numbers smaller. That's what simplification is. You're making the numbers littler. Now we're gonna do one more. I'm just gonna try and talk you through it. After that, the numbers are gonna get bigger and I'm gonna show you a calculator trick, okay? So draw two houses. You need two numbers that multiply together to equal 75. One of them has to come from that list. Good, 25 times what? Perfect, perfect. Now I'm gonna cross that one off because it's gonna work. That was the whole point. What is the square root of 25? Five, square root of three. We're all cool so far? All right, now I'm gonna show you calculator trick. You know you can't have your hat on, I'm sorry. Do you see how this one has a two in front? The two is just there. I don't have a better explanation than that. It's just there. Just write a two, that's it, all right? And then draw your two little houses. Let me make sure I'm on the correct screen before I share this here. All right, can you all look? because this is gonna be your best friend when you have the bigger numbers, how you do this. What was the number, 120? Watch, 120 divided by X. You take whatever the number is, divide it by X. Now don't look away 
you're going to click on this gear. Do you see that gear right there? The gear, you're going to choose table. So I did the number divided by X, gear, table. Now I'm going to hit the down arrow. Do you see where that's changing here? Now I hit the down arrow. If you go all the way to the bottom of the table and just keep hitting enter, it will just generate the table for it. enter, 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 enter. If you didn't get that, that's okay. We're going to do it a billion more times. Now what you need to do is find a number from this list somewhere on the table. And it doesn't matter if it's on the X side or the Y side, it makes no difference. You need a number from this list on the table. Which one is it? Four. Do you guys see four on the table? Do you guys see how four is right there? It doesn't matter if it's on the X side or the Y side. Now what's next to the four? 30. So when you come over here, those are your two numbers. It's all you got to do, but you just have to match them. Again, if you didn't quite get it, we're going to do another one. Now, put two. Two is kind of just there. Times, I'm going to put a little dot for times. Scratch that off. What is the square root of four? It's two and then square root of 30. One of them works and one of them doesn't is how that's going to be. And then what's two times two? Four square root of 30. Let's try it again. This is going well. Just keep this up. Do you see that negative three? It's just there. It is just there. Just leave it. Draw your two little houses. And watch again. I'm going to share my screen. Let's see who is paying attention. What am I going to type in here? 180 divided by X. Okay, good. Gear, table. I'm get, Well, you have to go down to the bottom. And yes, you are going to spam it, but... Don't go absolutely crazy because it, you're gonna go too far. Do you get what I'm saying? So like hit enter a few times, right? But you need to find a number from this list that's on there. And as it heads up, and let me come closer so my voice picks it up on the recording. Four is up there, but you need the biggest one. There's one bigger. So do you see a bigger number from that list that's on the table? Go ahead. Nine. It's actually one bigger than nine. What? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see 64 anyone there, but I do see 36. Do you see that right there? 36. Do you see 36? What's next to the 36? Five. It might be a little small for you to see at the back of the room, but we found 36 and five. Now, usually at that point I get asked, why didn't you put the five first? You want to put the one that's from the list first, because that's the one that's going to work. Okay. So put the negative three, scratch that off. What is the square root of 36? And you have it at the top of your paper. You can just look back. Square root of 36 is six. Square root of five. And then all you do is multiply these together. So negative three times six is negative 18 square root of five. Are we all okay? We're doing good on time. So I'm going to do them all, all right? That nine is just there. Draw your two houses. All right. Oh, I didn't hit share. Hold on a second. Let me share my screen. Did you draw nine in your two houses? You guys are doing well. Keep on focusing. All right. In here, I'm going to type 360 divide X year table. You have to go down to the bottom of the table and then just hit enter a few times. We're looking for something from that list, the biggest one possible. I'm not sure if I went far enough. Oh, there we go. Now I see it. 36. 36. And 10. Do you guys see that there? 36 and 10? Uh -huh. Okay. So on your paper, you're going to put 36 and 10. What is your square root of 36? Because that's kind of the whole point. I'll answer that in a second. Square root of 36 is 6. And then all you have to do is 9 times 6, which is 54. Square root of 10. Okay. Go ahead and flip over. You guys still are good during this next section. I'll give you a break after this one. Now, unsimplify means you're going to go the opposite direction. You still start by drawing two houses. But we're going to make the numbers bigger instead of smaller. Okay. 
So what you need to do is three squared. What is three squared? Three times three. Nine. Nine. And then you've got that two there. Three times three. Three squared is nine. You can always use a calculator if you don't know. And then nine times two is 18. You just did it backwards. That's all. If you were like, hey, I didn't quite get that. Don't worry. We're going to do another one. Draw your two little houses. Go ahead. You're going to be okay. There, you're doing a good job. Five squared, 25. Just remember you're making the numbers bigger. And then three, 25 times three 75. is 75. And you can always use a calculator if you don't know this stuff. When we're going over the lesson, I try to teach you it without a calculator if we can. But... All right, draw two little houses. 10 squared. Good, 100. And then five, and then a hundred times five is five hundred. Good. Five hundred x. Well, we didn't do variables yet, but that's what the next thing is going to be. All right, draw your two little houses. Nine squared. Nine times nine. It's one of the numbers from that list up there. If that helps, eighty-one. Good. Times two. Eighty-one times two is a hundred and sixty-two but you could use a calculator for that. All right, now we're gonna do variables, which is you know your X's and Y's and A's and B's and stuff. For these ones, you're gonna look for numbers divisible by two, so even numbers. So we're gonna check and see if you know what an even number is. Is nine even? No. No, so you're gonna draw two little houses. You want the next lower down even number. The reason you can't go up is you can't have more than what you've got. It's kind of like if you only have $9, you can't buy something that's worth $10, okay? So the way you're going to split that is X to the 8th and then an X. 8 plus 1 is 9. We just broke it apart is all we did there. You'll get the hang of it. We're going to do a bunch of them. Now look at Y. Is 2 an even number? Yes. So just leave it alone. Just leave it, build it a little house and leave it Y squared. Like if it's fine... Leave it alone. Now, the reason I like to check them off is here, you know, sometimes you can get a longer list. Check them off as you go. The reason we're looking for numbers divisible by two is because guess what? We're going to divide them by two. You ready? What's eight divided by two? Good. So cross that off your list and put X to the fourth. And then for this one, look at the one I'm pointing to. What is two divided by two? One. So cross it off, put Y to the one, or you don't even need the one. That's fine. What did we not cross off the list? X, so that just stays. Whatever you didn't cross off the list is just gonna stay there at the end. I realize you didn't write that down because you're eating, but are you paying attention? The information is going into your brain. All right, let's look at this one. Is four an even number? Yes, leave it A to the fourth. Just build it a house and leave it A to the fourth. That's all that that is. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Is three an even number? No, draw two houses. You're going to split it with the next lower down number. So how's that going to split? B squared, good, with a two, and then B. You always have one left over. Two plus one is three, is what we did there. Now we're going to cross them off. Divide by two. What is four divided by two? Two. two. So you're going to have A squared. The common mistake is people forget to put the A. They'll just put two. Like, keep the variable in there. And then what is this one going to be? Yeah, B to the one or just B. You can put the one in there if you want to. And then this one just stays. That's all that that is. All right. Look at the next one. Is four an even number? Yes. Is six an even number? So that one, you can actually just write the answer. What is four divided by two? So X squared. And then what is it going to be for Y? Three. Six divided by two is three. That one was nice. It just worked. We didn't have to do anything. It was just, that's the answer. Is five an even number? No. Draw two houses. How is it going to split? Get Y to the fourth. And then just Y. You just have one left over. Just don't forget the variable. That's the common mistake is people just put the number. And they're usually right because it's not hard. Uh, but you need the X or the Y or the A or the B or whatever it is. All right. And then what is this one going to reduce to? And y to the 2, y squared. And then square root of y is just this. So when you flip over, we're just going to do some like bigger problems. 
The concept did not change. The problems are just going to get a little bit bigger. Okay. We don't need to necessarily do all of these. Um, maybe we'll just do the even ones. Let's do all the even ones. All right. 512. That might actually be a perfect square. I can't remember. Let me go ahead and type that in. Oh, and actually, let me teach you guys a little trick. There's two ways you can get the square root. You can open this, and do you see the square root key right here? Kind of down at the bottom. Here's the other thing that you can do. You can type SQRT. Watch this, SQRT, and it'll put a square root. SQRT. I think 512 might be a perfect. Oh, no, it's not. I'm wrong. Okay. So how do I make the table? What am I going to type? Because 512 is not a perfect square. 512 divided by x. Year, table, and then we're going to keep going until we find. Okay, I see one. You need a number from this list that's on the table. And it doesn't matter if it's on X or Y. It just needs to be up there. All your uh, so four. And, oh, isn't there? I think there's one bigger, though. Let's keep going. I think there might be a bigger one. Hold on. Oh, from the inside. Uh, yeah. Wait. So technically, you could just keep going forever. It's going up by one. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I had to think about it for a second. Oh, gosh. You know what? This list didn't even go up far enough to get it. You know what? I wouldn't put one like this on the test. You know what? I'll do this problem because we kind of got into it now. But it's 256. I wouldn't expect you to know that. It's 256 times two. Here, I'll show you. I was like, I know that there's one bigger. Can you guys watch? I'll show you what 256 gives you. Oh my gosh, that phone. Hold on a second. Oops. Do you see what I did there? Square root 256? Yeah, it came out to 16. All right. And then look at the variable. Is two an even number? Yes. So just leave it K squared. I'm sorry, I wouldn't give you one with this big of a number on a test. I didn't realize that that was going to be so large. But cross this off. Your square root of 256 is 16. I showed you that. We just put it in the calculator. And then what is this one going to reduce to? Just K, right? Or you can put K to the 1 if you want. Like you can put the 1 in there and then square root of 2. That was a really weird problem. I didn't particularly like that one. Let's go to 18. 100. Is that on the list? Yeah, that's going to end up just being 10, but let's just leave it alone for right now. I like to reduce them all at once and check them off the list. Just leave it alone. Is three an even number? No. Draw two houses. How does it split? Yeah, and so if you said two and one, you're correct. But again, the common mistake is people just put a two and a one. Make sure you keep the X there, okay? What is your square root of 100? Somebody already said it. Good. Cross that off and put 10. You are really good at this. Good job. And then what is this one reduced to? Yeah, well, it, but don't just put a one. Do you guys get that there's an X, X one? There we go. And then square root of X is just there. What do you notice about 81? Yeah, it's on the list, right? Is two an even number? And is 10 an even number? So we can actually just write the answer to this one. We don't have to split it all apart. What's your square root of 81? Nine. And then you divide these by two. Two divided by two is one. You don't have to put the one. And then what would it be for y? Five. Perfect. That was the easy one. All right, you guys are paying attention, so we'll just do one more, and then I'll let you guys do, do your practice. Do you see that three y? It's just there. Just leave it out front. It is just there. All right. 72. Let me share my screen and we'll make a table. Ready? 72 over X. Oh, whoops. Did not type that correctly. 72 over X, gear, table. Oh, actually, it's already there. I don't even need to hit enter. Do you see it? 36. Oh, yeah, I was And then two. Good job. So we're going to put our two houses, 36 and two. Can you at least jump to this one and write this last one down? All right, then look at the X. Is three an even number? No. Good. Draw two little houses. How's it going to split? Okay. 
Two. It's one. There we go. Okay. And thank you for saying the X. I appreciate you. And then is four an even number? Yes. So just leave it Y to the fourth. Some people want to simplify them right away. There's nothing actually wrong with that, but I feel like if you do it all at once, like, and this is why I say check off the list, because this one's a longer list, all right? Three Y is just there. Let's check them off. Oh. What's your square root of 36? Six. You'll get the hang of it, or you can always type it in the calculator. This is the next one that's going to work. Do you see the one I'm pointing to when I say this one? What is this one going to reduce to? Yeah, just X or X to the one. And then what is this one going to reduce to? But it will be Y to, there we go, Y squared. And then what did we not check off the list? That's why I want you to check them off. Whatever didn't get crossed off is two and X. And you can put them together. And then the last step is you just have to multiply those because there was that three Y out front. So three times six is 18. You've got an X. And then we just did a whole unit on exponent rules. If you have Y, I agree. And, good, one plus two is three. And then that's still there. So if it's longer, just draw all your little houses and then check them off as you go. Do you feel like you need one more or do you know what's going on? Because when I asked you to do your delta math, I don't mind helping you, but you have to sort of know what you're doing. Do you want me to do one more? Like, do you want to do 21? You sure you're okay? Okay. 